If you want to learn how to animate clouds using GeoLayers plugin in After Effects, stay until the end of the video and I will show you in a few minutes. Create a new project and set the duration to 10 seconds. Choose a map style and click Create. Now right-click, select New, then Solid. Change the color to white. Change the name to Clouds. While the Clouds layer is selected, click on the Pen tool and start drawing the first cloud. Do the same for the second and third clouds. Now under masks, you need to parent mask feather three and two with mask feather one. Set Mask Feather to 60. Under Effects, type Turbulent Displace and add it to the Clouds layer. Change Complexity to 10, Amount to 100, and Size to 60. Now select the Clouds layer, go to Edit, and copy with Property Links. Paste it. Add a Drop Shadow effect to that new layer. You need to disable the view on the first Clouds layer to see the shadow. Set Distance to 50 and Softness to 20 and select Shadow Only. Now you can turn the Clouds layer back on and place it in front of the Shadow layer. Select both layers and parent them with the World Map Comp Anchor and select the 3D layer option. Under the Clouds layer, go to Transform, and under Position, change the Z-axis to minus 8000. As you can see, the shadow moved together with the clouds layer, so we need to deselect position in the shadow layer. To do that, go to Transform, and while pressing Alt, click the stopwatch next to position. Now you need to create one more solid layer. Name it Texture. Add the fractal noise effect. Now disable that layer. Add a texturize effect to the clouds layer. Set the texturize layer to texture and change source to effects and masks. On the texture layer, change fractal type to cloudy and noise type to spline.
you can finalize the project. Next, open transform under the fractal noise effect on the texture layer and the turbulent displace effect under the clouds layer. Parent offset turbulence from the texture layer with offset turbulence on the clouds layer. Now select the clouds layer and click the stopwatch next to offset turbulence. Move to the last frame and change the first number to 1080. Now you can animate your map. Click finalize and that's it, your cloud animation is done. If you like the video, please hit like and subscribe.